Hi y'all, welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. Unfortunately, today we have to talk about red flag laws here in Alaska. House Bill 62, as most of y'all know already from seeing the Guns and Gadgets video, has been introduced by the same representatives, Garen Tarr, and then a few of her comrades, which I'll show you in the screenshot here of the bill. Links to the bill will be down in the description, as well as Garen Tarr's phone number, I want you to call her and let her know that Alaska will not stand for this. That we here in Alaska are not going to d stand for the destruction of our first, second, third, fourth, fifth, eighth, fourteenth amendment rights and probably a few others that this one violates. It's absolutely, you have the right to a fair trial and a speedy trial and to stand in front of your accusers and an ex parte hearing does not allow you to do that in any way, shape, or form. Sure, there's a hearing later to see if you have it. Um, sure, this isn't like six months, like some of the red flag laws that it's supposed to only be 20 days or something like that, but double check the bill down in the description below. But still, I'm also going to put up a petition on my Facebook page. If you are watching this and you are not in Alaska, I want you to write and sign this petition that you are not going to spend the tourist dollars you are planning on spending in Alaska if they pass red flag laws. But you are going to cancel your vacation because you don't want to go to vacation in essentially a communist state, in a state that no longer has your constitutional rights best in mind. So make sure you understand that. Call Garen Tarr. I want her office to be ringing off the hook with, we don't want red flag laws, please take this back. We don't want red flag laws, please take this back. We don't want red flag laws. They do not work. They cannot work because you can't predict the future. I tried to post that on Garantar's Facebook page. She gave me all this liberal stuff from different universities that says it does work. Colin Noir has already proved that that is bunk. And, you know, same, same type of deal. Personally, anybody who introduces these bills in the legislature, they broke their oath of office, their election of duty. They swore on the Constitution, and then they shred it. I'm sorry, but they deserve to be arrested and put in jail and tried for their election of duty, if not treason. That's how we feel about you, Garen Tarr. Treason. That's the word we're using. Treacherous. Treasonous. Taking away someone's rights, their lawfully earned property, Without due process, due process delayed or due process later is not due process. That's the whole point of due process. You have a trial first and do that. If someone like the Parkland shooter posts on the video on YouTube that I'm going to go do such and such thing that's awful, then take that as evidence, go arrest them for the crime of making a terroristic threat, and then see if you can take away their guns after you convict them or hold them in jail till the trial. They can't do anything then. We already have a system for taking care of this. And to be honest with you, if a man is abusing his wife and the wife wants to call red flag laws on him, he could call red flag laws on her, have her gun taken away, and then he could go beat her up. There are hundreds of people, if not thousands, across the United States these laws have affected. And these laws have taken away guns from third parties, from 80-plus-year-old veterans. These laws have taken away one person's life in Maryland. And the wife came back and told the police later it was a lie. So one person was murdered in Maryland because of these laws, because he didn't want to give up his constitutional right to police who didn't have a warrant and he wasn't convicted of a crime. These laws cannot work. They violate the Constitution. They have a low standard of evidence. There's no standard of evidence. In fact, I read the bill. Do you even report somebody who is a respondent to a red flag law to the National Instant Check System or NICS? Because they didn't commit a crime, they weren't fingerprinted, they weren't charged with anything, nothing was sent to Nix according to this bill. 
So what prevents them other than your word from going out and legally buying another gun? Legally, not even like private transaction, but legally filling out the form and buying another gun. What if they have a permit to carry? There's nothing about in the bill that they have to surrender that. So you're not going to prevent anybody from owning a gun, buying a gun, getting a gun who wants to do harm. It is absolute hogwash, treasonous against the Constitution. Garantar, you are in dereliction of your duty as a legislator. If it were legally possible, we would have you arrested. Fight the uh, flat red flag laws, call Garantar's office, tell her you won't spend your tourist dollars here. I have a petition for that for those of you not in Alaska below. Make sure you call your state legislator if you live here in Alaska and tell them you won't stand for this. The good news about this, I've talked to a legislator or two. They think it'll probably be killed in committee again the third time, but who knows? Third time's the charm. They might be going for it all in. We already know that Bloomberg and Moms Demand Action are behind this, even though women could be hurt by this law, even though people's parents could be killed and have been killed by this law, even though third parties have been hurt by these laws, they still demand action on these. It's not about saving lives. It's about taking away your guns so that the government can do whatever it wants. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.